What's the best way to capture behind the scenes footage? Is it something like a smartphone? Should you hire someone to shoot the behind the scenes for you? Or should you grab something like a 360 camera? It's actually this GoPro, but this isn't just any GoPro. There's something special about it. And I'm gonna show you how you can get a similar setup and why this is the best setup right now for capturing any behind the scenes, especially if you're a photographer or a videographer. Behind the scenes allows you to establish authority and connect with your audience. It also shows what it's like to work with you. And that's huge. If you think of word of mouth marketing, that's when someone you've worked with tell someone else that is a potential client, hey, Anthony or you or whoever is fun to work with, you should hire them. Behind the scenes is kind of like that. It allows people to see what it's like to work with you without actually having to work with you. Instead of going out and spending hundreds of dollars on Facebook marketing or Google ads, you can spend a couple hundred dollars on a GoPro setup like this capture all the behind the scenes for yourself and then have a ton of footage that you can post on TikTok and Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts or whatever platform you like to post on. Okay, so now that you understand why it's worth capturing behind the scenes, I'm gonna show you what's special about this GoPro compared to some other inexpensive options you may have considered. You've probably seen something like this where you get a mount for your smartphone, but the problem is as photographers, we shoot both horizontally and vertically. And if you set this to record and you're capturing behind the scenes and all of a sudden you wanna go from a vertical photo to a horizontal photo, now all of a sudden your behind the scenes footage has rotated. And you can certainly stop and start or rotate this, but that's a little bit inconvenient. Not only that, you're killing the battery on your smartphone. And so the next step up from that is something like this, which is the GoPro 9 with the Max lens mod. Now this is an aftermarket lens that you can get for both the GoPro 9 and 10 that adds a whole bunch of functionality to your GoPro. Okay, but why do I have this crazy setup? First of all, it allows you to do something that the regular hot shoe adapter doesn't. I've turned the GoPro on and what you can notice is as I go all the way around, the footage from the GoPro stays level. So not only can I go horizontal to vertical, but if for some reason I overextend it, it still allows me to go all the way 360 de degrees around and it keeps the footage stable. You can do this on both the 9 and the 10 if you get this extra mod, but you can't do it on the older GoPros. Now, the problem with the hot shoe is if you're someone who uses the hot shoe to do flash photography or you wanna mount a microphone, then that can be problematic. And that's where this crazy contraption comes in. It attaches to your tripod adapter and it comes off to the side and there's all these parts. I'll show you how to build this at the end, but essentially what it does is it leaves your hot shoe free if you're a wedding photographer or a flash photographer and you need to use that, or you're a videographer and you would prefer to mount a microphone there. Now, another option that's pretty cool is this necklace and it can actually go under your shirt, but it's basically a magnet and, and you can wear it so that the GoPro sits at the center of your chest. This piece goes under your shirt and you can adjust the height of it with this little lanyard at the back. Okay, hold on, we're, we're in the sun, so I'm just gonna move really quick. Okay, I think that's better. So what I was saying is that there's this other option, which is, is basically a necklace. There's a piece that's magnetic that goes under your shirt and then you just, you set the height of it and it kind of just sits right there and you grab this guy and it magnetizes on. Now the problem, as you can kind of see, is it's a bit droopy because I'm wearing a t-shirt. If you were wearing a winter jacket, it works perfectly fine. But in this case, for summer, it's, it's a little bit floppy. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to set up all this stuff and I'm gonna show you one more way to set up your GoPro. But in order to do that, let's jump back inside. All of the options I just showed you are laid out here and there will be links in the description to all these things in case you wanna pick one of them up. But right off the bat, I'm gonna make this simpler and just remove the chest adapter necklace because I think that's fairly straightforward. And I'm also gonna remove this one because again, it's pretty simple and I think the GoPro is a better option than using your phone. Now we're left with just the GoPro options. And if you wanna keep this really simple, I would recommend going with just the hot shoe adapter. If we take the GoPro 9, which I have here, and the Max lens, and I'll just show you how to remove the lens, all you have to do is give it a 90 degree turn, 
and the lens that comes with the GoPro comes off. Then when you take out your max lens, you just take the cover off the back, throw it on and then twist it 90 degrees and you can uncover it. So with that set up, if you wanna keep it really simple, you can grab the hot shoe, but I'm gonna keep that to the side and explain what we've got going on here in the middle. These two pieces come together as part of the bracket that you can buy. One has some rubber on it, and this one, I've actually added my own rubber. It's just a piece of electrical tape. You can use either of these, but in this case, I'm just gonna remove that one. I'm gonna grab this one, and I've also got a little rubber gasket here, which I had laying around. Again, you could use a piece of tape. Not necessary, but for me, I just find it makes it fit and makes the threads just a little bit tighter. So when it holds on to the next piece, it just stays nice and in place. The next thing you're gonna wanna get is one of these small rig ball heads. It actually comes with this hot shoe adapter. And if you wanted, you could keep the hot shoe adapter. And if you had something like a camera cage, in this case, that's what this is. You could take the camera cage, put that onto your camera, and then mount the ball head into the hot shoe there. So that's one option, but I'm not a huge fan of the cage. One, because it's bulky and it's hard to take on and off. And two, because they're a lot more expensive than just going with one of these simple L brackets. Here is what we're left with. So I've got the L bracket, I've got one of these ball heads, and then I've got one of these GoPro quarter inch adapters that will literally just screw onto the ball head. So I'm gonna screw those in together and you can see that's what that looks like. And then I'm gonna take this and screw it onto my L bracket. Now what we can do is we can take the GoPro put it on the adapter and just screw it right in. You could stop right there. In fact, this screw will go right into the bottom of your camera, but I've got this quick release tripod adapter plate and I'm just gonna use this and screw that into the bottom. And now that's pretty much assembled. We've got the tripod adapter to the L bracket, to the small rig ball head, to the GoPro adapter, and then the GoPro with the Max Lens Mod. And then the final step, assuming you already have an Arca Swiss style tripod plate. In this case, I've got a Peak Design attached because I have their little, what do you call these things? Camera cut, clutch, cable cuff, clamp, camera? I don't know, Peak Design handle. <laughs> and then basically just take that, line it up, and then just tighten it down. Now, one thing you'll notice is I've got it offset about 30 degrees, and that's just so I can easily get my hand in there and still operate all the buttons. Or depending on your camera, you might need to adjust it a little bit, but in my case, about a 30 degree angle works pretty well. All the parts to make any of these setups will be listed in the description below. But I'm curious to hear from you. Are you more of a GoPro type person, or are you just gonna keep it simple and use the smartphone holder. Let me know by leaving a comment down below. And until next time, peace.